BOA, Hancho. I'm BOA QG. And we just jumped out the park with Dirty Glove Bastard. Voodoo, put a hex on you. Two, two, three, and a take two, two. Young nigga, who would step on you? Young nigga, drop a dude. All right, so we got BOA, QG, and Hancho jumping off the porch with us today, man. Welcome, guys. Yeah, How y'all yeah. feeling today? Good. Yeah. Hi. Hi as fuck. Well. There you go, man. <laughs> man, go ahead and introduce everyone you got sitting on the porch with you, too, man. You guys came deep today, man. Shit. Shit. I'd be always shot him. John Rex. Zelo. Spad. Dominique. AJ, Ken, Tit G, June Rats, Lil A, Sumo. We don't cover that, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, That's what's good, man. So, are you guys blood brothers, or what's the relationship <coughs> between the y'all two, man? Like, we got some of the same siblings. Like, that's our little brother. Like, they're both our little brother. Mm -hmm. That's my okay. brother on my mama's side. That's his brother on his mama's side. On my daddy's side. On my mom's daddy's side. I'm okay. on my daddy's side. Like, his mama, like, my, my daddy, baby mama, like, his big sister, my big sister, and his little brother, my little brother type shit. Okay. I got you, yeah. <laughs> So you guys from Waycross, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, man, I don't know much about Waycross, man. So tell me, like, what goes on down there, man? <laughs> Is it, like, just the country living? Like, <laughs> what be happening down there? Shit. Shit small. Shit small. Shit small. Everybody know everybody. Everybody know everybody. Everybody know everybody business. Yep, like anything happen, like five minutes later, the whole city gonna know. Oh God. Yeah. They go they go out of make it think it's us. Yeah, they gonna think it's us, but like and everybody be hating on that bitch too. But, For real. Yeah, but it's like but like they gonna love you when you do something good, like you know feel me, but like but when you like grinding and shit and you trying to like make it <coughs> shit, like they ain't gonna support you until you just make it, you feel me? But you know what I'm saying? Like we love our city and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? We yeah, just be trying to show enough. people, you know what I'm saying? Like like Atlanta, for instance, you feel me, and shit like that. Like, all these people be networking and helping each other and shit like that. Mm -hmm. They ain't like that where we from. For They're real. too small and then too poverty strict. Yeah, shit. They only, they, only fuck with, they only fuck with the one person at a time. Like, really? Like, I don't yeah. know why it's so small. Yeah, it's, it's too small. Like, you know, they gonna ride the wave on like But they see, they see everybody else messing with you and shit, then they gonna come fucking with you. But that's yeah. So like, how would you describe, you know, being able to make it out of Way Cross now, man? You guys popping all over. Shit. Oh, that shit, that shit hard to make it out of Way Cross. Cause don't nobody make it out of Way Cross. No, nobody really make it, unless you're playing some sports or something. Yeah, unless you're playing sports. That shit, that really not even, that, that's rare too, really. And them niggas be fucking up. So it just be like, I don't know, it's especially like, especially where we from, like it real country. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's still real, like the city, like it up to date. And type shit, but where we from is still like, like kind of like the old days, still yeah. like in, like yeah. civil rights and all that shit. Like, but it's straight though. Like, it's straight, but you just gotta got them know how to move. But honestly, if you want something like, you can't stay down there. You feel me? Nah, that's true, but yeah. it's hard to make it out of Waco. <coughs> yeah. You feel me? Like, it's hard. If you get some money or something, like, everybody gonna be at your neck. You know what I'm saying? Cause don't nobody get no money there. There's only gonna be a few of them. Especially like when you got a name, like if you make a name for doing anything out there, especially the police, they they gonna man, they kind of targeting you. Yeah, they gonna target it. They gonna target everybody. Mm -hmm. And you gonna be us. They target the whole city. You know what I'm saying? Whites, blacks, everybody. You know what I'm saying? When I was locked up, it was more white people, my daughter, than black people. It's just it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter what your race is. Them folks coming to get you. <laughs> True. You feel me? So it's just like it's hard to make it out of Waco. Yeah. It's just hard. Very hard. Dealing with hating, spending on some music, shit. Ain't nobody never really yeah. made it. Ain't music. nobody really ever made it for real. Nobody. Yeah. I don't know music shit. Is there much of a music scene down there? Yeah, no. Nah, there really ain't no music scene. But nah. If it, folks down there rapping, but they're not really taking it serious. Like, they ain't got music videos and shit. Like, they don't even make music videos. Like, and if they do, they be like, some shit that look like some 2002 shit. Got now. Uh, yeah. If somebody drop a video for Wake right now, everybody gonna be in tune because like it's, it's really rare, rare for like yeah. for people to drop a video or something. It's gonna be all over Facebook. Everybody gonna be looking at it. That way they get on. They don't get on Instagram and that. They get on Facebook. Yeah. Get on so do you now. feel like artists gotta move out of Wake Cross to make it then, or as soon as you start to get a buzz, shit, you gotta shit, get we out? Move out of we ain't move out of Wake Cross. Shit. But, we we got nigga out, but we was sitting at home, <laughs> literally smoking. Yeah, we ain't move out of Wake Cross, but. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard. Shit, we really made all some TikTok shit. Honestly, TikTok the way they yeah. sleep on TikTok. Oh, right. yeah, 
You better let them know that. <clears throat> so taking it back, like, what were you guys into as kids, like, growing up? Were y'all playing sports? Were y'all always into music, or what were y'all doing? I ain't never played a sport. I don't even know what the fuck I was into. I, ain't, I just, I always should be quiet. Like, I just listen to music and shit. I don't play sports. Like, when I was a kid, I, I wasn't good at it. shit, but, um... I always thought I was gonna be a basketball player or something. I used to like, I used to like LeBron, but I was always yeah. shy, so I never knew I was gonna get on. I, I knew I wasn't gonna never get on the court. I thought everybody. I was gonna be fucking 50 Cent or goddamn Pablo Escobar or some shit. I ain't never really like. My, you can, my, then my big brother, like he was raised in the same house as me. I was bad as hell my whole life. Like I never thought. Like I used to tell my mom, I'm gonna do music. Like me and my mom used to argue all the time. She's like, you need to go to college, or I'll put you through college or something one day for music or go to the military or something. That's the only thing they believe in where we from. Go to college or go to the military. Really go to the military, because they ain't paying for that college shit. <laughs> you feel me? You go to, go to the military, they ain't paying for your college. Man, nobody trying to go to the military. But see, it's so, like, small minded. Like I said, nobody never made it, so they never believed it, because they ain't never seen nobody ever do it. You feel me? Like, I just show my mama, like, she like, yo, like, damn, this is what you were saying the whole time. Music. Now she believes it, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that's hard. For real, like, yeah. that shit crazy. Like, we really give a lot of people hope, though, from my city, though. Like, nah, they like, damn. Yeah, like they don't seen a nigga putting this shit in y'all face, putting this shit in a lot of people's face, going places. Like, he been, but I ain't gonna count. Like, he really the reason, like, I even blew up with the song. Like, the how it happened was, like, Bro, literally, bro, we got to argue one day about going to the studio because he already been popping, you feel me? Like, the whole city been fucking with him, that's my brother. And I was on this shit like, bro, I'm done with that rap shit, bro. I'm tired of that shit, bro. Cause I had just got out of jail and I had a little buzz, but somehow my little TikTok video got deleted. That was viral and shit. I ain't going to speak on that, but goddamn. I was like, man, fuck that shit. I'm done with that shit because this shit don't die down. I'm tired of this shit. And he was like, man, you got to go to the studio. We got to argue. I got them. Left from the house, he went to the studio. We came back chill that day. Like two days later, he had no posted an old video, like a video from like a couple of days ago. Yeah, like a couple of days before we got an like, argument. Four day, like right before we got an argument, yeah. me just rapping in the room and shit. And he posted on his TikTok and he just went viral with his um, sleeves float on um, freestyle. He had like a hundred thousand views in like two days, one day. Like three hours. Three hours. Yeah, that shit. It got, got deleted. That shit was going crazy. Like he went so viral. So after that, he had on um, got that buzz off of that shit and he just posted me and that shit had on um, hit like this a freestyle. Of me beating on the dresser, that shit had hit what on to like 300k. Yeah, like, like one day. Like the first day, that voodoo sh shit. The first voodoo time I posted voodoo. voodoo. That shit was crazy. That shit was and like, I had to put him on the song. I was gonna put him on the song anyway, because we do a lot of our music. After that, together. after that, he like, he called me, he like, he was at his girlfriend's house. He called me, he was like, bro, you see the views? I was like, bro, I told you. He was like, bro, I can't believe this shit, bro. We gotta go to the studio and make the song. I'm about to walk over there. Oh, his girlfriend's house, like, right up the road. My girlfriend's house, like, right down the road. Shit, <laughs> so that was voodoo, right? Yeah, that was voodoo. voodoo. Yeah. And the shit so crazy, cause I made I made that when I was in jail. For real? Yeah, like I had just got out of jail for um, doing two years. He had only been out of jail four months. Shit, mm -hmm. we both had everybody just got out of fucking jail. Y'all us half of the portion with y'all just got out of jail. <laughs> That's wild. Oh God, for real, gorilla crime. You know, beat those cases. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you kind of knew voodoo was gonna take off then, right? He knew. He knew. I, I, was, telling, I was telling him like he went. I was telling him like, bro, you gotta drop the song, drop the song. He ain't, he ain't believe until it went viral. But we didn't even know that song though, cause it was so. Many it was so songs. many different songs. We didn't even think that was the hardest one. He, that, he, he, he used to do that every day, like beat on the wall. I just recorded yeah. that. That's just the one I posted, cause I thought it was just catchy. A little eye. I thought that shit was catchy. I knew I was gonna go up. Yeah. So I posted it. And the way he was viral. singing in the background, like the shit so fucking, like the way my voice and his voice sound together. I ain't gonna count. Like the fans be saying like. Wow, that shit sound like some melody type yeah, shit. Yeah, then yeah. I, had, I had a deep voice in the background uh -huh. behind it. But everybody thought I was the one who was singing on the beat on the dresser because I'm the one who posted it. So we had to get all that cleared up. Yeah, we had to get that cleared up. Like, <laughs> yeah, we had to get I'm, all that I'm, cleared up. I'm, I'm the one in the background. They thought everybody was the one who. Uh, I'm the one in the fucking shit. background. So they're like, who the fuck is <laughs> So you guys dropped the audio first, right? Before the video? Yeah, we dropped the audio. First. Yeah, we dropped the audio. The audio hit like, oh my God, that shit went crazy. That yeah. shit hit like, well, yeah, the audio had 100K the first day. 100K the first day. So you, so it took off right away. And it had a million views. In, in two weeks. Like, in two weeks. But we dropped, it was like, three weeks. It was so many different audios. Yeah, I saw you guys had like an unofficial version. Yeah, it, it was like four different ones, but all of them right now got over a million views though. That's wild. Yeah, them bitches get 1.5 million streams still a week. True. Yeah, yeah. And then I dropped Stars, and that shit got like 350K and got down a month right after that. And we got a lot of new shit on the way. He just, we got a lot of new, yeah, hard like shit. shit. We just dropped like three new videos. I saw that, yeah. So we've we been rapping though. Everybody think we just yeah. blew up overnight, but yeah. we just been, nobody just ain't nobody that cause we just- In the country. But we've been rapping though, like. We've been, been had a buzz, we been had a buzz in our area, like 912, yeah. 229 type shit. 
But we've been to rap. Like we've been to. Fuck y'all rap. So what had inspired you guys to start rapping at first? Then way back then. So what inspired us to start rapping? <laughs> I don't know. I guess just listen to other, I, just, I, just, I just listen to other rappers like this shit just listen to like I can do that too. Like, I, like, I don't know, like when I start I've been rapping like I'm from the country, like my grandma used to shit and like rocking her chair and shit and beat and hum and shit like church songs and shit. Like <coughs> and ch- hum and church song, rocking in her rocket chair and shit. And that's how I just started like humming and <coughs> beating and rapping, like that's why I get that beating and rapping shit. A lot of people think I get that from jail, like my big brother tell you I've been beating and rapping before I even went to fucking jail. She ain't start rapping, so I was like, Every 15. time I want punishment, I'm in the room rapping my life away. This and my mom. <laughs> I love her. I start rapping out like bitching, I moved to Atlanta. He's found my little rap books. I probably was dissing oh, your ass. I moved to Atlanta when I was like 10 years old. Then I moved back to Wake Cross when I was like 15. And that's when I started rapping when I went back to Wake Cross. But I was like, okay. I was like, this is a small city, so I'm just going to build a little bud down here first. Cause I know it's going to be easy. Get the whole city down here first. They didn't go that. The whole plan was for me to come, come back to Atlanta anyway. When I, when I graduated. I graduated in 2020. So. I, I was like, I was always in the streets. Like, I moved at my mama's house when I was 13. Really? That my big brother, he'll tell you, he was in the military at 18. I moved out the house as soon as he left because he was like, he was like the person who was making me like behave, like he would beat my ass and shit. <laughs> but like as soon as he went to the military, it was like, like I was like, man, I'm in the street, bro. Cause like I had too much money. Like, and like where we from, bro, you, like I ain't had no good clothes and shit going to school. And I ain't had shit. So you just had to get money. Like where we from, we grew up on a drug infested neighborhood. Like I speak with all the dope boys you be in. So like, I got a great mom. My mom went to work every day, but she you know what I'm saying? Like you at work 24 seven and all I see is this when you at work, so. Yeah. And when he left, shit, but I was already out the tank before he left, so it's just like when he left and went to the military, I was just on some like, I, I was like, shit, I ain't got nobody no more. You feel me? So I just went to the streets and shit. That's my, he went to the military too. Well, he back there. That's my other big brother. He ain't on the camera, but yeah. he went to the military too. That's my brother on my daddy's side. This is my mama only, other, my mama got two kids. My daddy got 17. 17? Yeah, that's a lot of them up here. Oh, shit. Yeah. So when would you guys say you jumped off the porch then? Was it 13 at that time? 13. Yeah. I was like, eight. I got eight? A, yeah, I don't yeah. know, man. Cause when it, what you got to do to I jump be, off the porch? Like, I ain't going to lie. I don't think I was never on the porch. Like, my mama was. Well, I was smoking weed at five. I've been going out. I've been doing whatever <laughs> I wanted to do. My mama always had somebody staying with us, and she was never home. So they used to watch her. We went from listening to them. So we just, me and my brother just went outside. Literally though, what we wanted to do. I don't even know. Literally, I got in my first shoot out at 11. So, like, I can't cap. I can't even make this shit up. Like, if I'm lying, like, my brother will say, but you lying. Like, what the fuck you lying for? <coughs> Bro, I, like, <coughs> live in a new town around the corner from my grandma's house. Like, so I don't, I guess, I've been out the port. I don't know. I've been out the port, so I've been out the womb. What would you guys say is, like, some of the biggest lessons you learned while being out in the streets? It ain't shit in the streets for you. Don't trust nobody. Don't trust nobody. I don't trust nobody. Don't trust nobody. You got anybody? I don't really fuck with nobody. Like, but we got we got family members we don't trust, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like we got so, like real people that we in our family we don't trust because it's so country. Like I don't see people. We, where we from? People kill their cousin, their brother, literally. You know what I'm saying? We don't seen that shit before. Like people locked up for killing their brothers and shit. Like the shit crazy. People we know like so. If you got somebody, we don't we don't stand on who a person is. We stand on loyalty. If, you, if a person loyal to you, well, you gotta you gotta stand on that, and you gotta hold them people close to you. You feel me? And it's like in the game, like when you live in here in the world, like people don't understand like life and death is serious. Like people out here really living and dying every day. So the people that you have close to you, you gotta keep them close, and y'all gotta stay together because your chain is only the strongest and weakest link. You feel me? Yeah. So how does it feel to be able to make it out of the streets and make it with this music shit? Man, that shit feel. Yeah, good in yeah. here, nigga ain't got to goddamn be looking over his shoulder, be in the trap no more. I can, I can make money to rap. Hell yeah, I'm gonna rap my ass off. And it's good money too. Nigga, nigga, great I, money. I, nigga, I, y'all seen that shoulder, video? Y'all, y'all seen how it was looking beating on that Chris Dad dresser? <laughs> y'all see what's going on now? You still got the dresser? Hell yeah. nah. Hell yeah, yeah we still, I still got that dresser. I don't, I don't, I don't so you gotta keep that. He got the dresser. Who was in my grandma's house? Yeah. That, that dresser still there? Everything's still there. Everything's everything still the same. Everything's still there. We just don't be there no more. Yeah. yeah that really like all the spot. That really like his little that spot. House he just, he just, that house hot as fuck. That house hot as fuck, though. The day we signed, I, I think that bit got shot up. I ain't gonna lie. This is what made the house hot. 
Man, I had a song. Me and him had a song called Big Drip. Big Drip. That shit was. And that song I had to see it. That shit just made the shit had the city going crazy. That shit had so many CCK. That shit had that's so many. Where we from? That's a lot of views. <laughs> they had so many sticks in there. So the police started watching. Like B O A. They started. They recognized that house, huh? So that shit had us hot as fuck. We dropped more videos with sticks. We ain't give a fuck because they can't do nothing. Can't do shit. We dropped more video with shit. That shit just made it hotter and hotter and hotter. Yeah. Like even when we shot our music video down there, like the cameraman and shit, these some other folks, them folks like, damn, this what y'all go through, cause they seeing this shit. Like, I can't believe this shit. Like, everywhere we go with it, goddamn, the police pulling up yeah, on yeah, us, stalking us, we had to call our lawyers. Yeah, man, I was we locked had up. a personal I was, I was locked up, I got a check it. I walked in the room, the police, when I walked in, the police, Police was singing my song like big drip all on me. Like, what the hell? That's wild. My, uh, folks, somebody that worked with Philly here, that's the other day, like, the other day, the head detective where we from coming that bitch singing our song. Like, bro, y'all weird as fuck. But shit, shout out to him, shit. Shout out to that stream, my buddy, that, that, that view. <laughs> so, voodoo drops. Do labels start reaching out right away, or at what point do they start? Yeah, right away. Us? Right away. Every fucking label. Every label. Every label. I remember I was at one time, we was at an Airbnb, and like, Every so, uh, either A and R or the, really the head, then the, either head or somebody. How was there from almost every label, for every bit label was come to our Airbnb. Every, uh, oh, like, every label we hit. Did we that had get people, overwhelming for you guys? Like God damn. Yeah, and it was yeah, crazy. Though. Like, we was in the top of the people. There, like. We had a full eating chicken wings and smoking backwards. No. <laughs> I swear, I swear I can't make this up. I swear. It's crazy, but like the person that we um really had one signed to P, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's like always been like our dream. Like ever since I've been rapping, like, every time somebody asked me if you ever wanted to sign, what label would it be? I just like Kishi, Kishi, Kishi. Cause it ain't even, it, you know, it's so crazy though. Like P, so much of a real nigga. Even from who Rollo was. Like though. even from the beginning, he was like, you just stay oh, down. Man. I'm make y'all straight. Like even what we signed for, from the first time, bro. This shit was a small. What we what we got for the first time, bro. That shit was small, bro. But we yeah. turned out way bigger money just because we went sound with him, bro. You know what's crazy? Right after that, like two weeks later, the man blessed us way better than any of them folk could have. Yeah, sure. You feel me? Like he just told us to stay down. He just want to see that we loyal. Well, we loyal. We love that nigga, bro. Yeah. For real. Yeah, I've been saving the young nigga from, from the streets. Yeah. For real. That really the reason why I wanted to sign because I had to see what type of person he was. Like I, I, was, I used to watch all the little baby interviews and shit. I mean, on, the baby man. documentaries and shit. I was like, oh yeah, he a real street. I, he a real I told street. My, he come from the same shit I come from. So you know yeah. what's so crazy? Like my name, Two G, right? But I just locked up doing two years for some charges for shooting somebody, but I beat them charges, you know, I ain't do it. That's what the, uh, you know, the law said, I ain't do that shit. So, we got, um, bro, when I was locked up doing the two years, you know, like when I was in making this shit, locked up in Beard County, them people used to call me like, I used to rap all the time, folks be like, they ain't call me QG, they used to be like, QC, QC the label, <laughs> QC the label, QC the label, I swear to God, and I felt like, man, QC gonna sign you and get out, and this shit was so crazy, cause like, I would tell myself, the only people I really wanna sign to is either Gucci or, or QC starting out, like, Cause them, that's my dream label, you feel me? Like, like I always, even before, like even they knew how this artist now, you feel me? Like I always been my dream label when they first came out with the Migos and shit. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I always, and I been fucking with everybody they been dropping shit in. They really love their artists. Like they don't make no one hit. Like one of the artists they really believe in, like artist development, building a career out of somebody and putting the time and the groundwork with these people. Like, like he really is like somebody who be hands on with his artists. Like we really see him be with this man, like he down there talk to you like a father that you never had, you feel me? For real. Real shit, man. So how much would you say your life has changed here in 2022, man? Man, that shit don't change so much in two, three months. My whole life has changed. I ain't gonna let this shit really, I don't know. Like, you know, it changed, we been but had the really crowd. Still, I, I, I really still kind of still feel the same, I don't know why. Cause like, we been had the crowd and shit where we, where, where we from, like, we couldn't never go nowhere. Like, he been had folk taking pictures, yeah. want autographs. I'd be there every day. Like, I used to walk out of the house, folks like, can I take a picture? Oh like, God. I'd be like, 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 even before Voodoo. This like two years ago. Like, we been popping, you know what I'm saying? Oh God, like, we been popping. And like, this like my brother, like, you know what I'm saying? I, like, we ain't even blood, but we, we got our birthday on the same day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, our yeah. Birthday. Same year and everything? Or uh, no, not same year, just same day. Who's mm -hmm. older than? Me and Big Bro. I'm 20. I'm 23. Okay, okay. So, any plans to do a remix to Voodoo? I'm sure every artist want to jump on that bitch. Yeah, a couple people on here. They got to be the right person. They got to be the right person. Like, I really, man, really who everybody been talking about, you know, Manly, but he locked up right now. Yeah. yeah, I know his people don't reach out, but we gotta figure out how we're gonna do that. But a lot of people don't hit me up. Uh, but I got other features and shit that's gonna be on the way soon. Okay. It's, it's a lot of artists I wanna work with. 
I want to work with a lot of artists though. Yeah. You know, but I don't know who I'm um, gonna do a remix with. You know, like it's a lot of people I want to do a remix with. And it's a lot of people that don't reach out for a remix with. But we gonna we gonna we gonna see. Yeah, just make sure it makes sense, you know? Yeah, we're going to make sure it makes sense. Yeah. You know, it got to be, it got to make sense. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, So talk to us about this BOA, man. What does it stand for? How this form? Bang on anybody. Bang on anybody. I, our homeboy got Bang on um, anything. Our homeboy, Street Boy, he, st he, st he started BOA. Yeah. But everybody, everybody be thinking I started it, though, because I really like, when, I'm like I'm, when I started rapping this shit, that shit made this shit. Pop. Shit, I thought he started. So everybody I think, be in the mix. So everybody think I started Bill with because nobody don't know who Street Boy is because he's not from our city. But I really ain't know who started at first. I had he, my he older, shit. like he he like down at thirty. We like we was like okay. 16, 15, 17 and shit. We, he was like thirty, twenty eight down at around the time. Yeah, he was. He been. He had been thinking. And, and like shit, like I ain't, I ain't never know who had started. I always thought he had started. Cause I had my own shit going on, but it was just like, why would I? Do my, like I had my own <laughs> shit going on, but it was like the niggas that I had my shit going on, they were hating on them. So I was like, man, y'all niggas sleep or something. Even my blood family, like, you know, I'm really gonna be BOA. The whole team really was hating on BOA, really, cause we was the only ones. Cause I, like, I, like I said before, like, they only, they only focus on one person and we're probably when they doing this shit. And I had them, yeah, my little two years, and I came home, and a lot of shit changed. Like, Long Little Reno, like, my cousin had died when I was locked up. You know, his brother just died, like, a, a, what, a week ago? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then my blood family members, like, you know, these people that are supposed to be up here with us, you feel me? Like, literally. Like, this shit crazy. Like, and a lot of shit had no change and shit when I came home. So, I seen the hate and, like, a lot of shit don't ha had no happen, you feel me? So, it's just like, I was like, shit, I might as well just stick to my family. I don't think I know. So, that's when I yeah, changed my yeah. name to BOA. Yeah. You feel me? So, what's the chemistry like when you two guys are in the studio together? Then? Man, this shit like Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippen, Kobe. We really, and Shaq. We really don't angle. Like, we've been in the studio together, we barely even be talking to each other. He, he just going in, he, he don't write his shit. Yeah, right. so he just going in and do some shit first. Or I just going to do some shit first, and I just. Yeah. And then. Nobody just put some shit behind it. How long have we been working with each other? Like three years? Four years? Yeah, like, kind of like three years. And really not even that long, because he, he be getting locked up. So, really like a, <laughs> yeah, really like a year. Two of them, huh? We only been knowing each other like three years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really full, no. Yeah, kind of like that four, no three. But I was locked up though, so I was locked up too. We made it in 2019. No, dude. It was. 2018. 19. Yeah, yeah. Who we met, Spaz? 2018? 19, tell me. We met in 2018. I met you in 2019. Oh, I met you before I met you. Oh, yeah, I met Spaz before I met you. Oh, yeah, we met Spaz. I think we've been knowing each other for like all our life. Yeah, but I met Spaz. We met some of the same siblings. But all of us stayed together, you feel me? Like, at different yeah. times. Like, all of us stayed in my grandma's house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All of us all of No parents, like, we was in there no. on our own. On our own. I mean, one time I worked in a crush dad job trying to help us out, like, but we were trapping and doing everything. I was going to a goddamn hotel every day, working at the front desk. Oh, God. <laughs> we would have goddamn town. Them <laughs> folk like, bro, you gonna do this shit, bro? I'm like, bro, shit, I'm doing this shit. <laughs> we like, but we would yeah. what though. Everybody had most and we ate. Everything we did. Yeah. I did have a job that was my only job. That I ain't never only had a job, job in my life. Well, I don't had a couple Real. jobs. Yeah, no, I, I had worked. A job. I, I, I worked like three three jobs. I always got them quitting them bitches though. And told the manager, fuck them at the end. It was always fuck the manager. Because I ain't I knew I wasn't supposed to be doing that shit. <laughs> it was always fuck the manager. And the neighbors. Fuck the neighbors because they be nosy as fuck. Oh God. So you guys got like an album, like a collab album in works then, or? Yeah, we got yeah, one on the way. We got one on the way. We got, two, uh, you know, personals. And we got, we got, he got an album going to uh, drop. Well, mixtape going to drop. I got a mixtape we're going to drop. And we're going to drop an album. OK. Yeah. Because like, you know, we ain't a, a, a group, but we like solo artists, but you know, be away the family. Do, we, do, we do shit together yeah. too. No, we do shit yeah. together. You know what I'm saying? Here yeah, artists too. Be away Spaz. Yeah, Spaz artist, June Rats artist. Man, got, man, got so many songs. Here R and B artist, Tesla artist. Really got the most songs with. Be away Spaz. Yeah. He got a lot of songs. Spaz, I got a lot yeah. of songs with him and um, Free Yet. I, mean, I got song with Zelo too. This is his blood brother. Yeah, this my blood brother too. I got a lot of songs with him too. Yeah. He hard too. June Rats hard. Everybody hard. Really, it, really. G back there, but we got hard. a sister who's we got we got a sister who's saying free at free at G at G hard. Uh, free at G. I got another hard, brother who's saying blood brother. Um, that's me and his brother. We got Clee um, Clee hard. Three Clee bro, really. And everybody is really like a family. Like in this, like somebody relate. We got somebody Nini, on the stage related to somebody. Like he related to my little hard. sister. Yeah, he all the people from the city. They didn't be away. They just hard. They ski low. 
You know what I'm saying? That shit wild, man. Start in. Yeah, all the people, they just hope for this shit. Yeah, that's it, like, though. It ain't nobody else. Oh, yeah, free KV. So yeah, what, free, hey, free. We gotta make sure we ain't missing nothing under the hard niggas so these niggas won't yeah, get out of the way. Long live Reno, long live Shy. Hey, long live Reno. Long live Reno, long live Come on, Long Newt. Come on, Long live Newt, man. And Long live Cutter, man. Come on, man. Long live Cool Cutter. What, what can you guys tell us about Reno? Like, what type of guy was he, man? Real deal, Stephen, man. <laughs> No, the Reno, most hated, man. Everybody stuff. hated Reno, man. He a cold like, stuff. But, but, if you, but if you really knew Reno, though, like, he was really, he really funny he as fuck. He really cool as fuck. He really funny as hell. But when it comes to his people that he love, like, he gonna, go, he gonna step. And that's the that same way I am, like, that's the same way all of us is, like, people, people really think we fucking crazy maniacs, bro, but we really cool ass really people, cool as but fuck. if you fuck with us, Cause we don't fuck with nobody, but we don't promote we're violence. Just, we're cool as fuck. We then you go look at our videos and shit, you gonna see all, yeah. so you gonna automatically think. What you yeah, you gonna think like, we just be on song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Other just, shit. But we cool but though. We really cool ass people like, you know, and then they be seeing people get locked up for a lot of shit. Like, oh my God. But it be on some shit like, I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, you see I got out, I beat my charge, ain't nobody say we snitch. <laughs> You guys plan to go away from like putting all these guns in your videos now? Oh yeah, we're, we're really doing it now, like. Okay. But we see, we, we see don't promote. We see ain't really ain't no real money in that. Honestly, you like, ain't make no radio you can't play. Monetize your so shit. right now we really having a problem with voodoo right now. And, and y'all want to know some real and shit? And all the weed. What the fuck? Guns and shit not cool, bro. In the streets, bro. We focus on getting this money. In the streets, you can't never get no money if you always beefing. Cause you beefing with everybody. You can't get no money. You can't even serve auntie up the road cause you don't shot her nephew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we really try to avoid conflict. Like, violence is never the way. That's always the last resort. That's never the first thing to do. Especially not a way cross. Everybody <laughs> know what you did. Yeah, and you, especially not Somebody die in way cross, you're going to jail. Yeah, but, and this shit rare. It really rare for people to die in way cross. But we almost got locked up for some shit. I ain't gonna say it's rare, but. Dude. We almost just got locked up. It ain't nothing that just happening every day. Huh? We literally almost got locked up. I got locked up for my house getting shot up. He man. got locked up for his house getting shot up. Someone was shooting at you. I ain't telling who did it. So they locked up. I locked up for five months. I just, got, I just got out December 23rd. How did they eight months for the whole game? Oh, God. They locked me up for my house getting shot up. How did they do it two years? I ain't gonna cap though, you know. You know, I ain't do nothing, no. I ain't do nothing. I just be chilling. I beat my charge. But you know, you got people around you that got, I don't know what and then everybody looking at you, you the one that's rapping and you got them making a lot of noise. So everybody gonna look at you. And then I wasn't even popping like that. I don't know why the fuck them folk kept locking me up. I don't know why they kept locking me up. I was just got them out of my business. But, you know, I'm home now though, strong. You know, you just keep your mouth shut like you fucking spoke. That was my first time getting locked up though. I ain't even never had none. That's wild, just because you didn't tell. Yeah, still didn't tell. So what's some goals you guys got set for you, you know, for your careers coming up, whether it's short term or long term? Long term. Get away from there, that was the goal I just accomplished already then. Shit, yeah. I'm trying to you know, start me. Start like, a new family or something, I don't know. I ain't trying to, <laughs> I, I already got a family started, but I'm just trying to get the money. How old are you though? Get some money. I'm trying to got them go overseas. Take care I'm of my people. I'm trying to run up this set. I'm trying to be permanent. Everything he's saying. I ain't, we ain't trying to leave. We trying to invade the game. You know what I'm saying? Be away forever. We standing on it. We stamping it. And this shit straight pressure. And we coming. You know what I'm saying? We coming. So what's some advice you guys would share to the youth coming up right now? Advice to you, mm -hmm. whatever your dreams is, Stay go for it. Dreams come true. Dreams come true. Whatever you know, if, if you feel like this shit ain't working no more, it's gonna stop. Don't even like, think that. But I, and especially like when you, you feel like going. people like ain't believing you, people keep telling your shit ain't good. Guess what? Practice every day. People get what they tell you. All my people tell you. I rap every day, even before. And, I and if you know how to beat on the tape real good and rap, man, rap. Go put it on TikTok. Go put that shit viral, on TikTok. Shit. Go put it on TikTok. You, and, it, yeah. and when it go get viral, what? go make it into a song and you gonna blow up. Man, where my phone at, Rex? That's how you gonna blow up. Man, let me see my phone. If, if you from Wake Park, go do that. This right here. Oh, in there, Sharana. This something that I learned. All that. This right here is a fucking million dollar device. And a lot of you apps on these motherfuckers. I bet you like So you better use these motherfuckers. Get what? TikTok, Instagram, promote yourself. To all the young people, whatever you want to do, whatever your business is. If you want to go to school, go to school. But if you're an entrepreneur, whatever you're doing, promote yourself. Use these sites. And if you feel you like see, you ain't got to go to the school, you ain't got to go to school. I ain't even gonna tell you. My grandma used to tell me that I had to go to college. I used to tell her, man. Yeah, if you don't want to go to college, man, you ain't rather than you ain't gotta go to, college. Go, go to high school. I graduated though. But you rather than you, some of these rather than you go. To, I ain't telling y'all not not to graduate. Hey, 
Oh, so many rappers didn't even go to high school. Then I skipped two grades, bro. Ain't millionaires and shit. But I skipped two. My big brother so tell you, you got bro. I'm smart as fuck, bro. When I was young, I think I was like 14, bro. I skipped two grades, bro. I skipped two grades. Went uh, like I went, like two grades higher in high school. Then I was like, man, I'm, I ain't feeling this shit. Dropped out and got my GD nah, six months I'm later. As soon as I turned, because I couldn't get my GD when I was 15, so I had to wait till I was 16. As soon as I turned 16, I went and got my damn GD and was done with school and got my world and trade. And I was still like. Yeah, I was still like, ain't none of this shit for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I was young, you feel me? Like, and did that on my own. You know what I'm saying? Just off of my brain. Like, people be thinking everybody be like dumb and, you know what I'm saying? Just cause they be in the streets I'm doing smart shit. As fuck. I'm smart as hell. When I was in fourth grade, you remember my head that, that test when, it, um, for, when they thought I was crazy and shit like that? Yeah. And I, my IQ came higher than my fucking teachers. Oh, shit. And then my principals, literally. My brother here gonna vouch me. My blood brother, military brother. So what's next for you guys? My mama ain't believe that shit. Huh? What's you next for BOA? You trying to hit the charts, Grammys? Yeah, I, I want to be seen. Did Voodoo chart yet? Did it hit Billboard? I don't know. Man. That shit going on. I know Jay Z posted us on his on, on title number four. Yeah, he put it on the I know that shit like for new releases. But the reason why I don't like I'm gonna tell you like. The radio, the radio people call it the other like goddamn. We have they having trouble playing it because yeah, like shit, they don't want to play. They scared to play it because you know the shootout with the copper shit. You know what I'm saying? But and you know all the shit going on with well, police, police killing says, and shit. You know they actually say shootout with the uh, offers no, on the radio version. Yeah, yeah, you had to get a clean version. He changed it to offers, but you know they still. Okay. But you know like you know you, you know the video had them sh- shooting out with the police and shit. You know they. But guess what though? All the shit going on with that they scared huh? to play it. Bro, and that radio play really will help, help niggas get closer okay. and shit. That chart. Uh, you guys got any shout outs you want to give before we wrap it up here? Man. Shit. Shout out to BOA. BOA. Long live Reno, man. Long live my new, mama. Man. Long, Long live Reno. Cool cutter. Shout out to my mama, man. Long live my daddy, man. Jamie. Come on, man. Yeah, I'm at, yeah, man. Just know we had that fitted like one of them. Shout out to Miss Candy, man. Lord. Shout out to um, Nita Potts. Start easy. Oh, yeah, shout out to Start Easy, man. Shout out to all the gang. Shout out to the gangsters back home. Shout out to Snoop. Free KB. Free KB. Yeah, shout out to Snoop, dog. Uh, oh, yeah, shout out to the gang. That's my guy. Yeah, man. I'm fucking with the gang. Shout out to the gang. That's my nigga. <coughs> all right, cool. <coughs> that was good, guys. Um, can we get and Shout out to P, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Shout out to P too. I gotta give a big shout the out to P. Man that changed everything. Shout yeah. out to P. He, he swear you lame. Boss you on nigga. You know what I'm saying? Change your young nigga life. Shout out to P. I don't have to be. I ain't gonna count on jet fuel. Yeah. Shout out to Yayo. Hey, shout out to Rich too, man. My manager, man. He yeah, make a lot. Be rich. Hey, he made a lot of shit change in my life. He be. That's and just man. a week. And just a fucking week. This man don't did more than two, three managers don't did in fucking three months. This man is amazing. The man is heaven sent, man. God, child, shout out to Rick, man. That was Rick said you got something to prove, man. Voodoo, put a hex on you. Two, two, three, and a take two, two. Young nigga who a step on you. Young nigga drop a check on you. Chopper make a nigga 